I can actually go as close as possible. Because right now, oh, vulture. See, what did I tell you? As soon as I'm out here, all of a sudden I have trouble with the vultures. Oh crap, and the vulture got me. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys, and welcome back to the next that I Alpha 18. So as you guys can see, I am waiting outside the base over here. It is the night of the day 21 horde. And I made a little bit of an entrance over here. Now, everything underneath these blocks over here, I don't know why the trader guns are bugged again. Everything underneath these blocks are just rebar. So hopefully, the zombies don't break through. As you guys can see, I have an entrance over here. Unfortunately, no stairs because then I have the concrete mix for that. I should have actually just used um, wood. And then over here, we have steel all the way to up to about here. And then we ran out. And from that side to about here. So unfortunately, this piece over here is very vulnerable. Let's just hope it doesn't cave in. And then I haven't had the chance to make any of this concrete make, uh, concrete yet. But as you guys can see, there's three layers of spikes going all the way around. So hopefully that is enough to protect us. Off camera, I had to go and do one of the dig quests. Just so that I could um, get more cash for more steel. Now, <laughs> guys, the funny thing is, when I accepted a new quest, there is now two level 5 clear quests over here. So hopefully doing that one is only like doing a level 5. And it doesn't do both at the same time, it's like a level 10 or something. That's really going to suck. Okay, so on the inside of here, as you guys can see, we have the guards protected as well, except this one. He's not that protected, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, the rest of them are protected. Our workbenches are not protected. I have that new uh, medium backpack on, so we have a whole row and three slots extra. And as you guys can see, I have my sniper rifle on me. I have the shotgun, the pistol, and then also a rocket launcher. Now the rocket launcher and my grenades I'm going to use first. This is a hope I don't need to use all of them. Let's see what the time is in game right now. I just had an update in game, so or of my mod launcher and OBS. So hopefully everything's working fine. Now let's hope they come in through this direction of here, because I I was outside last on this side. It's going to suck if they come from other sides. I want them to use the staircase here, but I'm not sure if they're actually going to try it or not. So far, so good. It looks like they're going for the walls. Oh, that's so messed up. They're shooting, but since the guns are outside, it looks like they're shooting nothing. You know, these zombies are super far away, so we're going to have to wait until a ton of them start to pack up before we can use a grenade or two. I don't want to waste all my grenades and stuff right now. Oh crap, no, 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 no. Some of them are taking too much damage as they're going around. Yeah, go for the hill, please. Don't go for my walls over here. See, that's a problem with the guards shooting them. They take damage, so they decide to go for the walls instead. Okay, so let's start using some grenades over here. Let's pick this like so, and chuck over there. Oh, nice. It reaches all the way. Nice. I didn't think it would, but it does. Now, I just need to make sure that uh, not all of them end up going for the walls over here. Some of them seem to be going for the sides. Let's hope the guards keep up their... Resilience over there. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem. But well, that's one skill point. Please don't tell me I'm gonna die. I took so long grinding and preparing for this horde. If I die now, it's gonna suck. I just need to time where or aim exactly where to throw this. Okay, so right about there. I wanna hit as many zombies as humanly possible. And also, we have now the sniper rifle. I don't know how powerful this is, though. At least you can fire five shots, so that's an awesome part. I think I'm going to wait for zombies to get closer, and also I need a scope. I'm not going to waste everything now. Ooh, why are they going for the walls over here? See, some of them are taking so much damage, they're going for the walls instead. Let's just hope the guards protect the sides. The problem is at the moment... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shoot them. I'm afraid to use my grenades over there, guys, because if I accidentally hit a guard, um, they're going to see me as a threat and start shooting me. I hate it when they shoot me for no reason. It seems like they're starting to break through the wall over there, so I might just have to stand on top of this to draw them out a little bit more. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Another screamer zombie. Oh, nice. So you aim a little bit over over there. And it falls nicely with it. I just hope I don't do too much damage to the flooring over there. Especially since that steel side is not fully protected yet. The downstairs. No, that was a little bit too high. I really have to save my grenades and stuff as well, so let's just use this as well. At least this does mostly damage 
to zombies. So I don't have to worry too much about destroying the walls and stuff. Let's see, what are they doing over here? Can I get up? I just need to make sure I don't accidentally jump over and die over here. That's gonna suck. Oh, nice. See, the uh, only problem with standing up here is the fact that the vultures can now get me. And we don't want the vultures coming after me. No, 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 don't go for the walls. Go for the staircase over there. Guys, if I survive this, I might just make the next horde 64 zombies. Uh, but we'll see. Especially, <laughs> I don't want to up the difficulty because we still have to do a ton of clear quests. And doing insane difficulty on the um, clear quest, for example, the tower is going to be insane. Okay, so one more. Thank you. Reload. I need to make sure I get all these vultures because they're always a pain in the ass. Come on. And they're f actually flying right straight at me. Okay, come on. Oh crap, there's a ton of wolves and stuff now. If they pick up speed, they might be able to get over. Let's just use a few grenades over here and there. Come on, before they start jumping up, I need to hit them. Now, where's that vulture going? It should be straight above me. There's one over there. Hello, wolfies. And a bear. Okay, the bear is going to pose a threat, guys. It's so heavy, it might just do damage to the floor over there that we can't afford. I don't want to waste all my... Ooh, look at all those wolves. I don't want to waste all my uh, grenades right now. Oh crap, that one got far. Uh, because if I use all my grenades right now, I'm going to I'm gonna have trouble in the clear missions. That wolf got way too close for comfort. Okay, so that one just took damage. Where are you? Let me make sure they die. Like, actually die over here. I can't afford them breaking stuff while I'm over here. Please don't cave in stuff over there. That's really going to put a damper on my mood. I keep shooting over and I'm aiming there. I don't know if I'm just aiming all for what's going on, but I don't want to do too much damage over there. Especially since I know doing too much damage can cause it to cave in. Even if it doesn't do a ton of damage to blocks, it will damage my blocks severely. Now, where are those damn vultures? There's one right over there. Can't look away too long because the wolves will get over. That one actually got very, very, very close. Yeah, I just need to aim better as well. Okay, so uh, why are they shooting behind me? Please tell me they're not trying to break through the back over there. There's one or two zombies over there. I just have to watch out for that. I can't afford them ambushing me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I keep missing the essential shots. Okay, there's a wolf over there. Thank you. Oh, come on. Reload. Reload, reload, reload. These are die wolves, guys. That's why they have so much HP. I just need to go skin them now as well because that's a ton of meat right there. Hello there. Thank you, Vulture. But now it's getting lighter, so you guys should see better as well. I think I accidentally destroyed some of the torches now that I had over there. It was super, super visible, but it doesn't seem to be that visible anymore. I just need to aim this better. I need to throw it in crowded places. I can't afford to be wasting my grenades on one or two zombies. Right, that is finished. Damn it, that sucks. Right, let's see if I go up. Please don't vomit me down. That's going to put a damn point on things. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, almost fell down. That would have sucked. Wait, what? Whoa, the vultures almost got me just now. Damn, okay, so zombies are starting to go for the walls over here as well. I need to be careful of that. I can't afford that. Okay, so if they converge like that, I don't know why they're all stacking over there. The fact that they're doing so is really not good. Because if they destroy that flooring over there, that might just cave in. Yeah, destroy the zombies for me, please. Are you all converging over there? Boom. Okay, I hit this group over here, but didn't do enough damage. See, if it wasn't for the vultures, I'd be standing out there trying to kill more zombies. I need for all of them to converge over. Look at all those bags. If I can wait for all of them to stack up over there, I can use a grenade again. I don't want to waste all my grenades, especially since we have a little five clear quest to do next episode. This episode, we're only going to do the other quests, other clear quests. But that tower, guys, we're going to have to do in the next episode because it's going to be massive. We have to clear out that whole bookstore. Uh, that is a radiated screamer, so let's try and 
Oh, damn it, she moved too far away. Uh, I need to try and kill these streamers. They're the biggest problem at the moment. Damn, they're so far away. If it wasn't for vulture trouble, I might just stand on top and all closer and shoot a little bit better. It's a shame I don't have a scope on. That streamer would be so dead right now. Okay, so grenade, grenade, grenade. Pick it up. And throw it. I hope I'll have good luck. Okay, so. Can I use a shotgun? I think it's a little bit too far away, right? Let's see. Yeah, really not doing that well with a shotgun. I think if it was closer range, I might be doing better damage. Damn the vultures. I'm just afraid of falling down, guys. If I fall down there now, I just check for vultures this way. So we're gonna go... Wait, how did I jump up here the first time? Oh, from the outside. Oh, almost fell off right now. Okay, I need to walk closer. I can actually go as close as possible. But right now... Oh, vulture. See, what did I tell you? As soon as I'm out here, all of a sudden I have trouble with the vultures. Oh crap, and the vulture got me. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Jump, 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 jump. Run, 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 run straight. Even if you get hit, it's fine. Okay, vultures. Three of you all of a sudden. I need to get all of them before I go out there again. Damn, every time I get too close there... Oh, this is how I, get, I got up the first time. I just need to make sure I get the vultures first. So I need them to come down straight at me. Oh, come on, reload, reload, reload. Oh wow, radiated zombie vulture, that's why they said tough. Come on, die, die, die. Okay, the hitbox on that thing was really weird just now. It's a shame I don't want to, I don't want to waste my grenades. I could technically just make more later on. I wonder if they can shoot the zombies better because the guns are there. Or if they still shoot as if they're shooting right over here. I'm really curious about that. Okay, throw right there. That should hit a ton of them. Thank you. Uh, the, the problem at the moment are the radiators. I'm not doing enough damage consistently to make sure that they are dead or they stay dead. Especially the screamers. I need to make sure I kill them. Come on. And unfortunately, the more those screamers scream, the more the tough zombies start spawning. So I might just have to waste all my grenades right now to ensure I get all of them. Now the problem is vultures. Let's just quickly check up there. If I jump up and the vultures attack me, I know the vultures are there. Vultures? None at the moment. But that's the word, at the moment. Let's see, right over there. I just have to account for the drop as well. And chuck. Nice! A ton of them in that gathering right there just now. Okay, so every time she screams, she might scream in a vulture. You need to keep an eye on that as well. It's a shame I don't have electric fences or something over there to slow them down so I can hit a ton of them in a group. If I can just hit those damn streamers over there. Because it's them spawning in more and more and more and more. Right about there. Oh, I just knocked them back. I'm not doing enough damage to them to really kill them so that's what's spawning more and more zombies. I think the horde should have been done by now if it wasn't for all those screamers over there. I just need to make sure I hit all of them in a group. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. I'm doing a ton of damage at least, so hopefully I level up a ton. Oh, nice. I just got a ton of XP over there. But because they are radiated, they're not really dying at the moment. Which is causing me a headache. Okay, so if I can hit them all... I don't know exactly where to aim. Okay, that was the last one. That was a nice throw. I should actually place a wall at the back over there. But then again, they run up from there as well. If I could place a wall right there, I could just throw my grenades against that and then I'd, I'd know I'd hit them. At the moment, it's the fear of may, maybe I'll hit them, maybe not. What's that? That's really bothering me. Oh, is it the fire from some of these guys? It looks like it. Damn, look at all those bags, guys. Okay, so if I can get close enough so they can run to me without the vultures getting me. At least we know now with the vultures, they can't really do much to me. They knock me down and that's it, as long as they don't stun me. 
If I can stand there, where most of them converge, I can do a ton of damage over there. So at the moment, I am limited by range. Where is my... Where's my AR-15? Let's hope they still come for the door over there and don't run around because I'm running to the back over here. If I can get my AR-15, I might be able to use that right now. Yes, the green one. Thank you. Oh, I just noticed. Am I using the armor piercing? No, I'm not. I'm not using armor piercing rounds. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. See, now most of them are coming for the walls over here because I stepped back a bit. So they determine it's easier coming through the walls than anything else. Come on, I need to kill these guys. Okay, I just need to get back in the action over here. Now, any more vultures? Doesn't seem like it. I should have put the armor piercing rounds on long ago. That was my mistake. My bad. I just have to aim in a straight line and that's it. Oh, come on. You can't reload when you're zoomed in, can you? Oh, wow. I'm not really doing any damage to the radiator guys. Even with this ammo. You'd think I'd be able to kill that screamer. I was trying just now, but I couldn't really hit her. Oh, that's one screamer down, I think. Nope. She's still alive. There she goes. Okay, so these guys are getting closer and closer and closer to me. Especially when they jump on each other's heads like that. I might just have to use my pistol over here. To really do the damage I need to do over here. The only nice thing about this is the fact that it is automated. But then again, only to an extent because I still have to reload on my own. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Need to kill these screamers first. Thank you, that's one screamer down. There's one right there. Maybe a few headshots. Come on, no, 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 don't get my way, zombies. Reload, reload, reload. The only big problem with this current defense is the fact that the guards are so far away, so they can't really shoot these zombies. So technically, this is a, a standalone base. The guards only protect them when they go for the walls over here. You know what, let's try the pistol, but with armor-piercing rounds. I think this is going to do a little bit more damage because this thing has two mods on. Let's see if I can actually hit her. Come on. Okay, let's just get closer over here. I might regret it now because some of them might just get super, super close. But I just have to wait for them to all be in a circle and shoot more or less head tight. And at least this gun auto reloads, so that's going to save me a ton of time. This is so awesome. Just shoot hit level. I just have to make sure the gun doesn't be off too much from the recoil. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look, I might not be killing the screamers at the moment, but at least everything else is busy dying. Because they can't heal like the radiators. Oh, come on, that's one more shot left. Oh, she is dead, nice. For a moment, I couldn't get to the body of the screamer laying down because the zombies were in the way. Oh, this is so awesome. Just shoot in a straight line. See, this is a proper defense. They just have to come in one line at you in a straight direction. And it's quite easy to take them out if you have the ammo or like the blade traps or dart traps or whatever you're using. But if you don't have any ammo, having a straight line like this is bad because they could technically still get over. I mean, just look at that one wolf. It got really, really close. I'm just waiting for the ones that fall down to stand up so I can more or less get a headshot in. I don't want to waste all this ammo on the radiator. It's just for them to heal. So if I can kill one, I'll try and kill one. Okay, guys. So we survived the horde night. Nice. Now we just need to make sure we kill all these random zombies. Come on, come on, come on. It's a shame I didn't have one more grenade. Just one more. The nice thing about me killing now over here is the fact that they're not going for the walls so the guards can't shoot them. The guards only protect the walls, meaning I can get all the XP for these zombies. Yeah, 
Damn, I just need to make sure I actually kill them because now that one's busy healing. Thank you. If I do damage to them, I need to kill them as well. I can't afford for them to heal themselves. I think when I take out enough of the normal zombies, I might just lead the radiators to the wall. So I already have six skill points, so I leveled up a ton already. Also, by the way, guys, my game skill, um, uh, game stage was 164 when this video started. So <laughs> I wonder how much has gone up since then because I've been killing a ton of zombies. And I don't think it's only horde zombies because as you guys saw, there was also the streamers streaming all the time. Come on, I just need to do your headshots. Uh, uh no, 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 don't go for the walls. Yay, my beautiful walls, leave it alone. Reload, reload, reload. Okay, so if I fire enough in one spot, I will end up killing them, but it's taking forever. I just need to make sure they don't destroy the walls too much. If I had the red remover, I could definitely kill all these zombies. Okay, so the shotgun does prove useful if you can actually do your headshots. This one actually took, yeah, a ton of damage. Nice. See, the nice thing about the long barrel is as long as you're aiming down the sides, it is super, super powerful. It's when it does spray damage that's not that powerful. And we don't even have the slugs yet that's doing this much damage. And it's a weak shotgun. So the moment we have a combat shotgun, guys, it seems the, the combat shotgun in this game is the end all be all. If you have a combat shotgun, you are set. Okay, so how many left? Just these ones have... Oh, you're still alive. Oh, come on. I did a, a shot in the face, but now she's running away and healing. Okay, let's hope she comes in a straight line again. Oh, there's a radiator at the back over there. What are you? Just a normal radiated woman. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. Just as she was falling over there. Oh, that's a screamer. And now the screamer is going to see me and scream. Jump up. No, jump the wrong way. Okay, so now I just need to make sure these zombies die. Now, where's that screamer? I heard her moan. And if she screams, she's going to spawn a ton of zombies again. Okay, so please, please, please give me some good loot. If I'm not mistaken, all my lucky loot skills are maxed. So there should be some good loot in here, but it seems only random zombies really dropped anything. I'm just going to pick up everything and at the end we'll see what we've got. So it's going to take forever if I slow loot this. I think I should have a skill point now to get the last fast eddy. But I'm not sure if I can get the last fast eddy. Let's hope that screamer stays away or she's stuck on something somewhere. Come on. Okay, so that side is done. I still hate the fact that the guns are floating like this. Ooh, that was a magnum. Nice, a blue magnum, I think. We just have to make sure. I know how to make the auger, but I wonder... It says you need a class, but apparently some stuff you can make without the class. So I want to see if I can make it in a certain whip, whip bench or something. And also I want to see what damage they did to the walls over there. Please, 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 please. I need to check all around as well because some of them actually went all the way around. Oh, that was nice. That was a nice find, so I think that was a ton of 762 ammo. Okay, so anything up here? The screamer does not seem to be on her way, so I can take my time over here. Doesn't seem like many of them died up here though. Yeah, and then these blocks also started to take a pounding. So it seems this defense is working awesomely. I'm actually really surprised at how well this worked. Uh, let's just grab everything we know. Are there any... Nope, there's no bags over here, no bags over there. Oh, there's some stuff over here. <laughs> I put two empty cups, uh, coffee cups, on my computer tower uh, before recording, so it's out of my mouse's way. And now you can actually uh, actually hear the spoon in the cup going tring, tring, tring as the thing's vibrating. Okay, so a ton of zombies actually went for the walls, which is not ideal. I just to make sure they didn't break in anywhere. As you guys can see, this is actually where I went mining. I went for stone, actually went far in here, and then I caved in some of the sand of here, so I have a ton of clay to work with uh, as well. Okay, so it seems I didn't break any of the blocks, thankfully. Nice, this actually seems to have worked out awesomely. 
There's a ton of bodies everywhere, so the heat map around here is very high. So I just need to make sure there aren't any streamers that see me right now. I've done enough zombie killing around my base. Now I want to dump everything quickly. I don't think we actually got a ton of awesome weapons just now. Uh, which is a really bad thing. I mean, we, we're looking for good loot. If we had the time, I'd actually go for the bookstore now. Because, I mean, guys, it's two level 5 quests in one. Two different traders gave me the same level 5 clear quest for the same building. And since it is the bookstore, you just know it's going to be a tough one, especially level 5. So I need to make sure we have the ammo and the guns and everything to go in there before we go in there. So that's why I'm actually making... I'm depending on all the guns and stuff we get over here. Ooh, I just need to watch out that they don't destroy my crates over here. I need to reinforce this wall as soon as possible. Okay, so let's just quickly make some space and put some stuff away. Okay, so I think the shotgun and the pistol will keep on us. And the rest of the stuff we'll take with us. So we're going to go for lockpicks. We should actually make our own lockpicks. Also guys, I know the laser pool, uh, tool is for the laser workbench, but we still need to go into a government facility if I'm not mistaken to get that. Um, okay, so I think that's it. For, uh, the wrench. Just need to make sure I don't accidentally sell my st the stuff that I really need right now. Okay, so I'm going to sell all the cash. Come on. Okay, thank you. We're going to sell this, 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 this. I actually need to make sure I sell the best stuff first. Now the 45 Magnum, I'm not sure if I actually want to keep that because of the low rounds it holds. I don't know, it's like 6 rounds. Uh, the damage, however, is great, but it's not a gun for me. It's too noisy. And also, I noticed we picked up an awesome junk turret, so we're going to be using that definitely. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, we already have our nerdy glasses on, I hope. And we just need to grab ourselves a bicycle to get going now. Now, before I go, I need to make sure there aren't any more rounds in here that I can actually buy. Ooh. This is tempting. A blue one, and we have a... I wonder if I should. This is 2,000 rounds, so it's a base, basically 1.9. If I sell this one. Um, nah, I'll keep it for now. Okay, it's just going to be a waste of cash if I do that now. But I need more ammo, guys. I need to make myself some... I think the, the ammo I make myself has to be armor-piercing rounds. So if I, have the uh, if I have the resources, instead of making normal ammo, I should really see if I every time can go for some armor-piercing. Okay, so we're going to do this. Uh, what other resources? We need to buy this as well so we can make more grenades. We're looking for springs as well. So basically any resources we can buy, we're going to buy. Uh, iron as well, lead as well. Glue I should be buying because we can make some... Ooh, I'm actually running out of resources really fast now. Uh, the reason I'm getting glue is so I can make even more duct tape. So I can make myself... Thanks for uh, re here. More repair Come kits. Again. Okay, so we have seven or six skill points to spend, right? So let's quickly check this out. Especially since we're going to be doing clear quests soon. This, okay, so better barter. We're getting the best deal. I should have done that actually first. <laughs> getting the best deal now. Uh, quicker crafting, you need to be level 80. Gun crafting. I want to see if I can max these out. Tool crafting, weapon crafting, all this stuff. Especially since we're using these weapons and tools. It's going to serve us or come in handy if we can actually do the best. So this just crafts mod, but you also need stuff. You need these to get stuff that's locked. So if you go, for example, to the back of here, it says you need science, you need this, you need that. At the moment, we can make a combat shotgun, but we just don't have the parts for it, unfortunately. Yeah, we have the chemistry workstation. I didn't have to buy it. As soon as I met those criteria, the guns and the weapons and the science, it unlocked itself because I already read the book. Okay, so now I need to make sure that I can actually make myself, I should have bought this first. This says play level 50, no, uh, what? no labor class, play a level 50, advanced forge. Uh, I am level, I'm actually 67, so I should be able to make the advanced forge. I wonder if I go over here, I could have sworn I could already, I, I, I could have sworn I can already make it because I already bought that skill. Uh, advanced. Forge. Yes, I can make it over here. We just need a ton of steel, guys. I'm going to have to go grinding again. Or just do a ton of quests. From those two level 5 quests alone, guys, we accept one quest. We complete both of them at the same time. I just hope it doesn't double in difficulty because it's two quests at one time. It shouldn't be, but you never know with this game. So I think what I'm going to do now is just make some more gunpowder and stuff. Start smelting down ammo and all of that. And then next episode, we're going to do a clear quest. Because as you guys heard, the... Thing already went off the timer. 
But yeah, as you guys can see, uh, there's a cemetery right there. I think that's a cemetery. Uh, there's this building over here. And then this this tower. And this tower is literally... I'm not joking, guys. Look at this. Quest, clear tier 5. 1.5 kilometers. Exactly the same spot. So hopefully by doing this, it gives you 20,000 XP, 5,000 dukes, and a 1,000 and duke bonus. And no chain rewards, unfortunately. This one? Same. So I'm going to get 10,000 dukes from clearing this one building. I'm going to get 40,000 experience. And then if we have time left, we can do the rest. But I just need to make sure we have the ammo for one. And then we need grenades as well now. Because you guys saw how they came in handy. We just need to be able to hit the zombies from far off. So I think I'm also going to make a ton of spikes. So I can litter the hallways with spikes. So the zombies have to go through there while we're chucking grenades. Because sometimes some of these zombies are so fast, you don't have time to chuck... <sighs> Look at the damage over here. You don't have time to chuck a grenade before they even hit you, so... Uh, they're very, very, very close by the time you want to throw at them. So, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? What do you guys think about this episode? Anything at all? Like I said, guys, I'm going to go off camera now and just prepare a ton of ammo. And then next episode, we're going to do a major, major, major clear quest. This one over here. I, I, I'm actually not looking forward to this. It's a shame you can't do two separate ones, but then again, it's a blessing that you do both in one go. Because you, uh, since you do both, you don't have to clear it two times. Because you guys know, at level 5 already, that's radiated ferals. And that place is always crawling, even without level 5. So I'm really not looking forward to it. Yeah, but leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.